Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. My name is Siti Nawunira Bitsu Zitrifli from UITM Junka Pahang. Today I will be presenting my final year project entitled Analytical Methods on Determination of Hazardous Chemicals in Cosmetic, a review on quantitative and qualitative analysis under supervision Dr. Siti Raihan Zakaria. This is my presentation outline. First, introduction. What is cosmetic? Cosmetic is any substance used to clean, improve, or change the composition, skin, hair, nails, or teeth. Many individuals are seeking beautiful, flawless, glowing, and young skin as a result of pretty privilege. As a result, cosmetics have become such a necessity in today's world. Thus, analyzing cosmetics is a vital duty in terms of assuring consumer safety since the chemicals in cosmetics can accumulate poisons in our bodies over time, resulting in harmful effects and long-term severe chronic sickness. Mercury, hydrocanon and paraben are the elements chosen as the main sample on this review report since it's commonly found in cosmetics and these elements provide an immediate risk to consumers. However, the previous study's research care is that there is lack of data that comprise all information on extraction technique and both qualitative and quantitative analytical method for analyzing these three hazardous elements in cosmetics. The significance of this study is to provide detailed information on both extraction and analytical method in determining paraben, mercury, and hydroquinone in cosmetic goods. Furthermore, this study will serve as a guideline for future researchers seeking insight and information on this topic. There are five research hypotheses in this study. First, the specific liquid liquid micro extraction provides a suitable extraction method to accept paraben. Second, the most hazardous chemicals commonly found in cosmetic are paraben rather than mercury and hydroquinone. Third, breast cancer, skin cancer, and endocrine disrupting are the major adverse effects of health that contributes from cosmetics. Fourth, solid phase microextraction is a suitable sample preparation for mercury determination, meanwhile water and acetonitrile in the ratio of 80-20 volume per volume were used as the extraction solvents for hydroquinone determinations. And fifth, the most efficient method to analyze paraben, mercury and hydroquinone is electroanalytical, mercury analyzer and UVV spectroscopy respectively. From this study, the research questions are what are the advantages and disadvantages of each extraction method, which instrumental analysis that provide the best and most sensitive method to analyze the three hazardous elements in cosmetics, what are the most hazardous chemicals that commonly found in cosmetics, and which hazardous elements contribute to major adverse effects of health that commonly found in cosmetics. Objective of this study is to study the suitable sample preparation and analytical procedure that have been done in previous study for analyzing paraben, mercury, and hydroquinone. Next, to identify the hazardous chemicals and physical characteristics in cosmetic product and adverse effect to human health of hazardous elements, especially paraben, mercury, and hydroquinone, and to compare and contrast between the extraction method and analytical method that has been done in previous study for analyzing paraben mercury and hydroquinone. Paraben are used as broad-spectrum antimicrobial preservative in a wide range of personal care products, cosmetics, food, and pharmaceutical products. Hydroquinone is well recognized as a cosmetic whitening agent due to its ability to cure different hyperpigmentation conditions by reducing melanin synthesis in the skin as the function of the enzyme tyrosinase is inhibited. Mercury, commonly known as neurotoxicant, which is one of the most hazardous heavy metal ions and may be poisonous even at low concentration. The physical chemical characteristics of parabens are colorless, odorless, have a broad spectrum of antimicrobial activity with low toxicity, have high water solubility, non-volatility, and non-decolorizing action. Since the molecular structure of paraben is similar to estrogen, this can mimic its function and interfere with steroidogenesis. Parabens disturb the normal functioning of natural hormones causing a wide range of issues such as adult onset acne, male breast growth, developmental and neurological difficulties, and cancer. 
Although parabens are legal preservative, their concentration in cosmetic is limited in some situations, which is 0.4% for single paraben and 0.8% for paraben combination. Hydroquinone is also colorless and odorless, which extremely hazardous chemical that has been found as a clastogen and mutagen. A clastogen is a poison that may produce a break in chromosomes, damaging their portion and causing chromosomal rearrangement. The effective concentration of hydroquinone ranged from 1.5 to 2.0% weight per weight. Mercury is heavy metal usually found in whitening lotion that appears grey white and liquid state at normal temperature. The melting point and boiling point of mercury is negative 38.9 degrees Celsius and 356.7 degrees Celsius respectively. Mercury has an active element that prevents melanin development in the skin. Prolonged mercury exposure from frequent cosmetic treatment may affect the brain, neurological and renal system. The Food and Drug Associations consider a cosmetics mercury content to be safe if it is less than 1 ppm for items used around the mouth or less than 65 ppm for goods used around the eyes. Even though there are regulations in limit the uses of these hazardous elements, but there are still have an issue that related to mercury and hydroquinone. Sample treatment must be improved in order to enhance rapidity and simplicity and to achieve better analytical characteristics. Liquid-liquid extraction is simple extraction process, but its drawbacks are emulsion formation and ecological and friendly due to large consumption of organic solvents. From previous research, most sample preparation of parabens are by using this specific liquid-liquid micro-extraction rather than other extraction method. This approach has a wide range of application in trace analysis due to its ease of use, speed, low cost, high recovery, high enrichment factor, and environmental friendliness. It is a high efficiency extraction technology that uses only a micro volume of the solvent DLLME to remove metal parabens from cosmetic items. DLLME is being quicker and more sensitive than direct solid dispersive micro extraction and hollow fiber liquid phase micro extraction for paraben determination. In order to reduce extraction time, some modifications to DLLME have been proposed. The solid phase micro extraction was used for mercury as this method extracts volatile and semi volatile components from liquid, cases, and solid samples rather than dry aging method. Meanwhile, water and acetonitrile in the ratio of 8 to 20 volume per volume were used as the extraction solvent for hydroquinone, thus, it yield the highest extraction recovery. Spectroscopy, chromatography, electrophoresis, and electroanalytical are the most commonly used in analyzing paraben. By using electroanalytical, it offers advantages over other analytical techniques in terms of sample preparation, time consumption, having a greater limit of detection and linear range. Furthermore, it is highly sensitive since the limit of detection and quantification are lower, which is at 0.2 micromolar and 0.7 micromolar respectively. Electroanalytical also selective methods for detecting organic substances. Even though capillary electroporosis does not need a difficult sample pretreatment process, but direct mercury analyzer is a suitable analytical method to analyze mercury over other analytical methods due to its simplicity, speed, low detection limit, accuracy, precision, and no sample preparation required. For hydroquinone, UVV spectrophotometric technique is used rather than chromatography due to the benefit of demanding extremely little simple preparation and have been proven to be practically speedy, simple, sensitive, accurate, precise, robust, and inexpensive in cost. In conclusion, all three objectives raised in this review were successfully accomplished. Since most of the researchers nowadays want comprehensive information, this, this study hopefully helps to serve as a guideline for future researchers. Suggestion and recommendation To gain a better understanding of hazardous elements in cosmetic products, including the effects of this element on the environment, aquatic species and soil properties, as well as raising public awareness about premium cosmetic products and their beneficial effects on the skin and various skin issues such as dust circles, dust skin, wrinkles and pimples. 
In addition, greater standards in cosmetology are required in order to raise awareness about harmful substances that should be avoided, promote safety standards and change the cosmetic sector into a safe and non-toxic area. Furthermore, by giving a more advanced web-based system that assists users in selecting their skin care range depending on their skin type by recommending certain products that fit consumer skin types. Last but not least, by including natural elements in cosmetic as an alternative to chemical or artificial compound utilization. That's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone.